What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment. We are back once again in Wreckfest, but for something a little bit different today, we got to take part in probably one of the coolest things you ever got to do in the history of the Soundhead Entertainment channel. I mean, this is a pretty big milestone, if you ask me. And you know me, I usually just do solo gameplays and things like that. Well, I got invited to one of the craziest, most stacked, just killer Wreckfest multiplayer lobbies I think I've ever laid eyes on, uh, including various different content creators and internet personalities that I'm sure you all know and love. And who could forget, you know, not to mention a world-class Formula One potential future world champion, Lando Norris. All right, how do I join? Multiplayer? Oh, my game's shut down. Oh, let's see. Yeah, it's just frozen. <laughs> can I use the harvester? Azure, can I go in the motorhome? Now listen, I don't know whose bright idea it was to let some buffoon like me share a virtual racetrack with Lando freaking Norris, but you know what? I thank them because I was able to record all of it and that's what I'm able to bring to you here today. So this is the Lando lobby, the Quadrant lobby, the Veloce lobby, just a crazy, crazy lobby to say the least. It may be time for us to do some more multiplayer stuff again because this was quite a bit of fun. Let's get right to it and see what happens. So as we get that countdown clock rolling and approach the beginning of the first race of the day, I'm gonna hit you guys with a little bit of a hybrid commentary for this video where we have some stuff from when I did the original recording in the moment, but I'm gonna hit you with a lot of post reactionary commentary like I'm doing right now as we are underway. The lights are out and we get that front row jump start into the opening chicane. And this was a nice start and I was a little worried about making a fool of myself. Well, don't worry about that anymore because everybody missed the first corner and then I go ahead and miss the second one and drive straight into a wall, barely missed that barricade, nearly wipe out a couple of people by going straight across the track. Put that at the top of the handbook of how to make a first impression on a bunch of other racers by just throwing that lead away right at the start of the race. But it's okay, it's 10 laps. That's a long, long time here in Wreckfest. And we can race our way back up to the front and a race is exactly what we have here with FNG. That bright purple machine is gonna be a familiar sight. Cause we're gonna get in that draft. We need some draft physics in this game. Can we get that update maybe into Wreckfest at some point? But no amount of draft is gonna help you if you miss the corner there. And we're gonna capitalize on a couple of guys who did exactly that. And we'll climb our way back into that top five on the opening lap. So a slight early recovery. And then we introduce the ass pack into the lives of unsuspecting civilians. They do not know the wrath of the dark arts here in Wreckfest, but they will learn. We will train them swiftly, I'm sure, as we've got one off the pace. And off into the sand, it is another beach party here on lap two. And then we have our first encounter on track with, dare I say, the star of the show, Lando Norris. You can say I traded a little paint with an F1 star. Write that on my headstone one day. And don't remember the part where I bottled the very next corner and took out some signage. We don't need to include that, but what you can include is how a corner after that, Lando Norris did the same exact thing, except made it look way cooler. I have been upstaged, but we got the pass. Count it. It counts. I pass an F1 driver. Another one for the history books of the channel. And he wrecks himself trying to get back up to me. Oh, did, I think by the law of the racing realm, I believe I get his F1 seat now, right? That is correct. Correct? Oh, I, well, I know who isn't getting it. It's these gentlemen up here. They've all wrecked. They have all crashed it. Some of them seemingly at will, but nevertheless, we have unceremoniously been handed the lead. We must take advantage and try not to let the pressure get to my head and make us crumble. Now you would think with my experience at this track from Wacos and various things, I'd be somewhat good at it, but nope, I keep going off track in that very same spot every single time. And letting the green machine of Diener, I hope that's how that's said, into the picture and he, might be giving me the deaner into this corner. We might be in trouble. I, I said it way too deep in preparation for death. Little did I know I was gonna get some respect in Wreckfest, this is such a rarity. I'm so used to getting terminated. I'm not used to actual decent human beings. This is a shock to me. And that was a clean pass. I don't care if we were 80 miles away from the racetrack. It counts. 
Let's see if we can close this thing out as we're closing out a lap off this final corner. Can we get back in the lead picture with a drag race down and we're going to pull up to, oh, he's looking for the shortcut. I would as well. Can we get through this opening chicane cleanly and pull away? We shall see into the kryptonite corner again. And it is no dice snake eyes off track and then a torpedoing into the door. But that's all right. This is Wreckfest and Rubbin Sun is raising even on the dirt. It's a clean pass in my book. We will remember this. Jimmy Spencer taught me to never forget. But I will remember how to make a corner for once. Only when there's somebody who knows how to drive in front of me. And now we are side by side racing for this lead. I didn't know what to expect. If we'd get a bunch of craziness and carnage or... A little bit of sweatiness and competition. This is actually somewhere right in between. Just what you love to see is we're letting that thing hang way out off the racetrack. No track limits in Wreckfest. Don't you dare worry about that nonsense in my house. We have literally taken shortcuts through the grandstands before. We will take one through turn one as well. This is not a problem. We've got the leader kind of all over the road up here. Can we capitalize? And we sure have. Look at that. Close right back in. He's keeping it interesting for us, and I can appreciate that. Here in Wreckfest, it's always interesting. Battling for that lead. Trying to get that dub. Trying to get a little peek on that corner panel, but no dice. And yet again, we race down one of the long straights here. Wreckfest can be a tremendously competitive game if you get the right circumstances. And we are once again going to be able to travel into the lead here after a small mistake. And we've got to celebrate that with a packing here. We're going to use Arava as an innocent victim to celebrate this momentous occasion of us getting back to first. Innocent victims just being made everywhere and another one being sized up for emergency trunk reduction surgery on the main stage. Just... What a sight to behold here. Oh, I hope Lando wasn't looking at that. He, I hope he's not seeing me commit these heinous acts. Oh, no, but we're going to continue on anyway. Still undisputed in the lead for now. We will see how long this lasts with a little bit of lap traffic in Rhea up here in front of us. But don't worry. We're all going to miss the corner again and make this real interesting. As this is going to get dicey, but around the outside we go. Will she play the roadblock? Not very much. And that is about a second gained for second place. And me driving all the way off the racetrack is not helping, but that nice little slide into the last corner might, and we're gonna get a huge run. And we might extend that lead even further. I'm feeling myself, but I shouldn't feel myself too much because I'm gonna be feeling this inside wall as I botch the opening chicane of the lap, but I'm not the only one. They follow suit. I led the army off the cliff. Brad Keselowski style. Enter the Roval Turn 1 memes here. The Turn 1 meme never sleeps. You know what? I may never sleep if I miss this corner again. And hallelujah, we made it stick. Touching grass is overrated anyway. And down the main straight we go. We'll try to pull away a little bit. And it seems we are. We're going to showboat about it. Knock some cones down and do a little nice slide on them into the corner here. We might be sliding on them a little too hard. They might stunt on us in a second, and that's exactly what's happened. Dean are back to the lead after a slide job. Carries him through, and that may be an example of keeping it real going wrong until we get up here and an attempt on my life is made, but hey, we keep our foot in it, as is the rule of life, and look at our car. Look at his car. We're in trouble here. We got to keep this thing together. So naturally, what do we do? We go ahead and run it right through the first corner and don't even attempt to make it through. Not only do I smash the car to bits and probably give myself a nice concussion, I let the lead slip the hell away. But it's never over until it's over. And even when you try to throw it away as many times as you can, there might be a champion driving backwards out there willing to give you an assist when you desperately need one. And that's exactly what we have here. And FNG might even try it himself without getting destroyed. And that's just not an option. It just never was a possibility. And now we have the opportunity laid down in front of us. We know what our mission is. We must dethrone. We have to channel all of our inner lessons of fighting the Terminators. We are battle hardened for this. This is where all of our training should come out and shine. And we are going to find out if it did here. 
One lap to go. White flag in the air. Will that first corner catch us lacking again? It does not. We keep it on track. Something that cannot be said for Diener. He's giving a little bit of it back after running tight and clean seemingly all the race. We have an opportunity here. And what do we do with it? We bury it deep in his trunk and get him a little squirrely just to remind him that we're here. But we've got to have a lap to go. Did we blow it too early? Can we get the run down the back stretch? It's just not there. He gets through there a little cleaner than we do. And it puts us dead even. It's going to be about who has the stones and the ability I don't have either. And off we go. Maybe throwing the chance away. Our dreams dashed in an instant, but could there be a comeback? More dramatic things have happened in Wreckfest as he goes off track. I follow him into the final corner with a drift. And he holds. Ultimate pain has set in. A celebration has begun ahead of us. And we fall just a spot short. But what a race to open things up with. And for being a road course bum, I really can't complain about finding myself on the podium. So we'll try to take this momentum into this next race, which is a oval right in our wheelhouse at the Hilltop Stadium in the Rammers which are the bases for the NASCAR Legends mod. So how will we do here? This looks like a county fair lineup right here. We should be half of us going forward, half of us going backwards, Tony Stewart style. But I don't doubt that this will produce any less carnage. I'm sure we will see plenty enough as this goes on. And as lap one goes on, we found our way into a nice little starting spot again and battling inside the top four here, looking at the podium as they are sending each other up here in front of us. FNG, once again, we keep finding our purple friend out here. Just not as much as we've been finding the wall. And that's an important thing to try not to do because this sticky wall will suck you in, destroy itself, and then trash you on the exit. It is like an anti-safer barrier where it's just, oh, these guys might find out the hard way. They're tearing it apart. And the more they think it's torn apart, the uglier this is going to get here as we are racing for the lead with Tiamat Marduk and... Getting a little slide job here from RDA, Jardier. However you say it, Dale Earnhardt Jr. would be proud of that slide job and might be setting up for another one here on our leader. And indeed he does. It's going to be a three-way battle for the lead. We sneak through on that bottom to capitalize. And let's get the lap led while we're at it. On the lap four of 20. You know what that means. Got to get your... Oh, there we go. There is the backwards racing. We got targeted by, I believe, Super GT came with the bloodlust for us. And boy, did he get paid dirt because we have lost our lead and we are currently just getting used up for second here by my man Yarno. And I'm just going to let him sort it out. Oh, Super GT again with us. This might be a case of mistaken identity at this point. I think there's another green car out here. I don't remember committing any war crimes recently that would call for these acts but that is just the nature of the beast when you load up wreckfest you are fair game at all times and terminators they take all shapes and sizes one day your friend is your friend the next day they drive you 18 rows deep into the next corner and it happens just that quickly that we get back to the lead super gt is he gonna realize that i am not his foe Potentially, we took the offensive that time. There's no games to be played on these streets. Speaking of the streets, they are filled with carnage and destruction. Cars laying about DOA. And you can't worry about them too much because just when you're comfortable, the sticky wall will stick out and bite you. And that is going to cost us plenty of time. And such a silly mistake to make. And as the pack goes by us, it gets 10 times crazier. Watch out, duck and dive. This car's going everywhere. And all of a sudden, we're in the barriers. We get stuffed, collected in a bigger mess we weren't a part of. And that knocks us back down to a lowly eighth position. Now, we know not to ever quit. We never give up, especially not in a multiplayer session of this caliber. So what do we do? We keep our foot buried in it as DW has taught us time and time again. We put one right in the back 
of that green machine of Arava. We're gonna get door to door here, and it's gonna be a battle off the corner with FNG, and up and over he goes. Contact at the finish line. And that is not gonna be a pretty end to a few others races, but we have no time to rest now. We can still make up ground as we've got our clone here in front of us and cars wrecking on the inside. We make use of this high lane to get around Lando Norris wrecking with just two laps to go. Oh, no last lap Lando to be seen this time, but we will carry on in his honor maybe. How about that? Can we sneak one on the outside here? Will we get the lane? It seems we will, and there's carnage in front of us here. There's gonna be a tight squeeze for that third spot. Oh, and it's a brawl. It is a war, and it's getting uglier and uglier by the second as the corpse of FNG, I think, just got defaced and defamed and defiled and everything else you can imagine. As we are on the last lap, can we get some spots back? Are we gonna have to stick to a top five? I gotta go on the dodge of cars going everywhere. It's three wide to the finish. We're gonna barely sneak onto the podium or will we? I don't know. Yes, we do. Of course we do. It wasn't the dub we probably should have had, but my, oh my, you cannot beat this stuff. Well, we did a road course, we did an oval. The law of Wreckfest says you must now take your head off of your shoulders and partake in something absolutely ridiculous. And speaking of ridiculous, I just got the worst star known to man. Couldn't even remotely get near a gear. But nevertheless, we will gather it up and try to use this. To, this actually might be a good thing because we could use this. And if they crash and clean each other out, we can just drive straight through it, no problem. The only problem we have is that Lando Norris is in a friggin' combine harvester. And my head is exposed. These are just a few issues that I'm seeing currently, and that is a sick drift by the Formula One racer. Look at, look at, he's all over the road. He is taking command of this thing. Oh no, he might be taking command of me. Into the wall we go, stuffed. Stuffed, ladies and gentlemen, by a F1 driver. And what does he do? He gets instant karma. I thought I was racing Lando Norris. Not Nikita Mezpin. What is this? I was lied to. Led astray in a tire check to get us out of here. We got to watch out for Lando. He's still stuck, finally freeing himself there. And we get ejected. I'm free. I'm going to my home planet. We just got tossed out of the couch. We did not belong. No duct tape can save us now. Now it would appear that Lando Norris is sideways in the middle of the track getting assaulted by a pack of sofas as we take one to the face ourselves. This is getting absurd and obscene. Let's leave the scene immediately with our dignity while we still have some left. Although, did you really have any of your in a sofa race? Let's be honest as we are in a sofa draft right now here with Mr. Tog. I hope that's how that- Oh, and he's gonna smash teeth with someone on the straight. Ouch. Now, when we land, we gotta be careful here because boom, we gotta dodge this one right here. Then split the middle of two couches. Don't think I could do that again if I wanted to. And Super GT will be seeing you later, buddy. And a smashing up against the wall. Oh, that was brutal. Super GT did not deserve that, but we did it to him anyway. Our revenge has been carried out tenfold for the acts of the last race. Now, oh, that should have Jaws music on it when you see Lando Norris coming in that thing. That is scary. That is genuinely terrifying. And it doesn't seem like we're on a very good cycle with Lando because he's coming right at us again and he's on the hunt and we smack faces with the hunty. I think we solved him up for him and oh, and then we got softened up and ran down. Soon to be at a local, oh my Lord, he singled me out, he killed me. Lando Norris just chose ultimate violence and ended my existence in its entirety. I've been sent to a shadow realm to stay forever, and I think I'm going to be there with Super GT as he's floating around. I'm just getting roughed up by Yarno here into a tire check for the decade. There was a line of sofas hiding behind Lando Norris right now. Rhea's going to spawn there at the worst possible time. Right as I get on the scene, we're going to try to dodge the dead sofas. Some of us do better than others. And that big old combine harvester is just sitting there scaring you every time you look behind just FNG sends us into the corner and that reduces me to five health points 
Now, I'm no expert, but I do believe the end may be nigh now as we are truly on our last leg and we are not the only one by my observations as we are coming to five to go. It could be all coming to an end, especially when Lando Norris just creams you and <laughs> treats you like some crops. Dusted. And it was an F1 driver who put in the work. And Soundhead. Killed by Lando Norris. Did you think you'd ever see the day? I certainly did. But I'm glad I'm here to see it. Or I guess technically I'm not, depending on how you look at things. But we are here to see the end of this race via the observation as cars and well, I guess sofas and bodies are going to be flying here as they have been for some time. And after a long, grueling race, Hayden, who everybody wanted dead at the start of this thing, and he does get a last little death blow there at the end. He was threatened with the Shadow Realm. He is eventually, though, going to power through and get that dub. We did no such thing on this day. I can't believe we went winless. I failed you guys. I You, you deserved better. You honestly did, and I promise you, if this ever happens again, I will show up and we will capture at least one glorious victory. But what an opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, what a really cool thing to just play with a bunch of people in the YouTube community, the Wreckfest community, the just overall gaming community, a bunch of different people. It was awesome. You love that stuff that brings everybody together like that. And then to get to race with a freaking Formula One driver. I am a race fan at heart, so the inner fanboy in me just finds that so ultimately cool. You should have seen me trying to explain that to my mom the other day. It was incredible. So I have all of you to thank for it. Wouldn't be here without every single one of you. So mwah, I love all of you. Thank you all so much. And with that, we will wrap this one up and I'll get ready to see you in the next one. You know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe for more because we will be back with more Wreckfest, more NASCAR heat more BMG Drive and more other games because I'm getting ready to get a little variety in here and maybe spruce things up, get back into the role of things a little bit. And this was a big reason why. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And with that, I will see you in the next one.